Hey guys. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the uh, latest tweaks that I've made to that redstone transmitter. Uh, so this is the machine that I've showed off in my previous video that takes a byte of data, or 8 bits, and uh, transmits it over one redstone wire. So I've added on to that uh, over here in s where before we had eight levers, right now it's hooked up to a uh, hard drive of sorts. This has, I believe, 16 sets of blocks. Each set is eight blocks wide, and it's a pattern. And uh, it rotates through them using pistons, and it reads them through these pins over here. So we cycle through a pattern of uh, of different bits here. Instead of having to manually set them, it automatically cycles through a bunch. Over here, instead of just eight output pins, I've actually hooked it up to a sort of printer. So I'm actually going to start this right now. It's cycling through them over there. It sends the eight bits of data over here and then uh, well you'll see I will have the coordinates and world, how to get here and actually check this out yourself uh, in the description, so check that out. The timing of this is actually not perfect. Uh, I'm going to time lapse this. Hopefully I won't run out of hard drive space. And uh, you'll probably end up seeing a glitch or two. So there's still a little bit to be worked out, but in overall it's actually pretty good. So uh, over here, this works off of the fact that uh, glass does not conduct redstone or electricity, but wool does. So cycling through this uh, tube of material actually gives you the ability to uh, store data, and that could theoretically be stacked to however large you want, although it would be pretty... it would get pretty unruly pretty fast. But, uh, yeah, it could be done. So, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here. Ah, see, I already have a glitch over there, but hopefully we don't have too many more. So I'm just gonna start the time lapse now. Alright, so as you can see, a few issues here and there, but overall it is pretty good. Uh, just a couple issues to work out. I have to figure out why it's having these uh, timing glitches every once in a while, but uh, for the most part it does get it right most of the time. So, yep, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the coordinates for this are uh, 350x and 0z. This is in the creative world on the server bck.me. So you should be able to just come and check this out. Uh, I'll keep it set up. I'll shut this up before it reaches the top, but... Uh, yeah.
So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.